If you have been following my channel for a while, you might notice that I have a certain way of editing my photos. I've received numerous requests for a tutorial on achieving that retro washed out editing look. So in this video, I will guide you step by step through the process. I'll be using Luminar 4 for the editing. Although it might not be the most popular software, as long as you understand the editing principles, the software you use doesn't matter. Before we dive in, let's examine some photos and identify their common characteristics. These images lack strong contrast, and the colors are not vibrant. If you focus on the black areas, you will notice they are not pure black, but rather a blend of brown or gray. Additionally, there is noticeable vignetting to make the subject stand out. These are the key principles we should keep in mind when editing photos. In the light panel, we will tweak the exposure, contrast, and curve. My initial step is always adjusting the curve. I will slightly elevate the black area, but remember to anchor the mid-tone area to prevent unintended effect. You will notice the image now carries a subtle brownish overlay. We can drag down the black to achieve an overall darker tone. We can also drag down the highlight if necessary. Moving on, the color panel is crucial as well. For each color, you can modify the hue, saturation, and luminance. Typically, we will decrease the saturation for every color, unless a specific one should stand out. In this case, we want blue as the primary color, so I will leave it unchanged. Be careful with adjustment to red, orange, and yellow, because these colors can easily impact skin tones. I prefer shifting red towards orange to create a more balanced and subdued look. Since this image includes a lot of blue, I will also raise the luminance of orange to harmonize with the blue. When using the Detail Enhancer panel, I usually apply it to a small portion of the image. I only increase the large details and avoid overuse of small details, which could result in an artificial look. And then I will use a mask to select the area I want to enhance. And now you can see the area looks sharper. At this point, you can already see our image adopting that desired retro washed out appearance. Let's proceed to the vignetting panel. Adding a vignette enhances the subject's prominence. Choose your subject. We can adjust the vignette amount and size, and make sure you increase the feathering so that you can have a smooth transition. If the subject still isn't standing out, we can also intensify the light at the center of the vignette. Now the editing is complete. Let's compare the before and after. You can also apply these edits to other photos. Most of the time, you only need to do minor adjustment in the light panel and the vignette panel. But the color panel is where you have to do more work, because every photo has different color element. Take a look at this example. It looks generally fine, but I found it a little bit dark, and the vignette might be too strong. So let's tone down the effect. Again, we can copy the editing to another image, we can see overall it has the washed out vibe, but there is too much color distraction. The subject in this image is right here, 
so we do not want other saturated color to steal the attention. Let's lower the saturation and the luminance of blue and cyan, and add some more light to the subject. Now you already know how to edit this kind of vintage style photo. But keep in mind that this kind of style does not look good on all kinds of photography. It might look good on street photography, street portrait, but it probably won't look good on maybe natural photography or food photography. So make sure you pick the right photos to edit in this style. If you like this kind of tutorial, leave a comment to let me know. I am currently considering making another video about editing Japanese style film photography. So let me know if you're interested. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.